and welcome back to the channel everyone welcome back hope you're having a lovely day thank you so much for being here uh it is the same day as the last day that we listened to the boy with a thorn in his side and i just figured let's just move on to the next track which is vicar in a tutu well okay <laughs> listen so first of all i don't know what a vicar is so let's look that up really quick a little copy paste never hurt nobody uh it says a i guess a vicar hold on Vicar. Vicar. Okay, well, I was completely off. A vicar is a representative, deputy, or substitute, anyone acting in the person of or agent for a superior. It also looks like it's a member of the clergy in charge of a chapel. Okay, so we got a few different definitions there. Uh, so, vicar in a tutu, a priest in a tutu. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's not... Okay, uh, let's, just, let's just go... Let's just listen to the song. <laughs> I was minding my business, lifting some land off the roof of the hole in a church. It was worthwhile living a lot of a life, setting my eyes on the blistering signs of the hula to do. It's not strange, it just wants to live his life this way. A sketchy bitch of a thing, go with a decorative ring, wouldn't cook on the head of interesting at the end there okay um <laughs> i'm so sorry but when he says hold on no 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 when he says uh here let me find the line i i, I couldn't help it as rose collects the money in the canister who comes sliding down the banister a vicar in a tutu i i i just the picture just the amount <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I was laughing during the song. I could not help but picture that. Just, just this guy just comes sliding down on the banister. He said, "Well, hello there." <laughs> I love the imagery. I love the way that he's singing here. I love, <laughs> once again, like Morrissey's voice and his playfulness and his delivery is just so fun to listen to. A lot of times, and in a song like this, which I'm sure there's some deeper meaning behind it, it, it just works so well. It, it's so playful, so emotive. It works so well, but Warp's bass line. That's throwing down a hoe down. That's a hoot nanny. That's just a good time. That's a that's a good bass line. This has kind of like a country soul kind of feel in its movement, which I think is just great. But it's especially because that bass, of course, Mars guitar laid on top of that. Just just a, a hay barrel of fun. Do you put hay in barrels? No. You put hay in bales. That's the, that's the word I'm thinking of, but not a Christian bale. <laughs> either way, either way, really, really fun song. This was really great. Now let's dig into these lyrics a little bit, because the idea that I'm thinking is basically as Rose is collecting money, um, 
that he he's just celebrating. He's just celebrating the money coming in and almost to an absurdist degree, you know, that he's in a tutu. He's dancing around. He's so happy and celebratory that it doesn't matter what he's wearing. People are going to donate still. I was minding my business, lifting some lead off the, the roof of the holy name church. It was worth worthwhile living a laughable life to set my eyes on the blistering sight of a vicar in a tutu. I love how he's like when he gets into the chorus there, just the way he spitfires that. He's not strange, he just wants to live his life that way. A scanty bit of a thing with a decorative ring that wouldn't cover the head of a goose. As Rose collects the money in a canister, who comes sliding down the banister? A vicar in a tutu. He's not strange, he just wants to live his life this way. Okay, that's fine. The monkish monsignor, I love that, with the head full of plaster, said, my man, get your vile soul dry cleaned. As Rose counts the money in the canister, as natural as rain, he dances again. My God, the vicar in the tutu. I'm not 100% sure what it means. I feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm close at all, to be honest, in, in what I thought. Let me see if there's any articles about this particular track. Um, there's not a Wikipedia page. So let's see if, uh, Google them. Google, did I say Google <laughs> Let's see if Google can help us out with this one. Uh, songmeaningandfacts.com. The title of the song is symbolic. Those says symbol is meant to be pictured literally. Okay. What is so striking about the imagery of a vicar rocking one is that first of all, said re religious figures are traditionally male. Um, da -da 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 -da. It also becomes obvious based on the outro that the vocalist is alluding to a concept more to true to life, this piece being an espousement of individuality. Or more to the point, would be an acceptance of individuality. The singer himself not having a problem with a person as unorthodox as a vicar in a tutu, and more or less encouraging the listening audience to adopt a similar position. So it's as if Morrissey is holding himself up as an example of tolerance. Okay. When he says like a vicar in a tutu, he's not strange, he just wants to live his life that way. Yeah, it may seem, okay. So perhaps the meaning is a lot more simple than I was perhaps going for. It's a strange idea. But be more tolerant. Be accepting of it. Okay. I, I was off. <laughs> I was way off. I was way off. It's still a funny thought, though, to imagine just sliding down. The... Let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here. Follow me on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you later. Bye.